Ladies and gentlemen, honorable guest, dear Secretary General, one more time, with your indulgence, allow me to render my thanks for the event which you which we have organized in Georgia. This is the North Atlantic Council meeting, the fourth one, which is being held in our capital of Tbilisi, which is a vivid message that is related to the Georgian sovereignty, territorial integrity, and voicing support to the track of Georgia's integration to the alliance. The threshold of our integration with alliance is growing year in, year out. We possess all the instruments which will prepare for us for the membership. And all these instruments will be used for deepening of our defense capability. With containment, I would like to note that all the states of the alliance stand ready to offer support to us, to inform the decisions made in Warsaw. Allow me to use this opportunity and offer my thanks to the partner countries for this. And I'm assured that our opportunities will be properly evaluated and presented to the forthcoming summit. Oh, summits. We are very actively involved in international missions with our Euro-Atlantic partners. One more time from this roster, allow me to lend my thanks to every Georgian soldier that have been protecting and defending the interests of Georgia and the global security. Allow me to touch upon a new direction of our relationship and cooperation with the Alliance. This is the Black Sea purview. We used to attach our partners here to the Black Sea region. This is the inseparable part of the European region, and its future, its fate is related to the fate of Europe. So for us, it's very important to attain the security in this region and to render this sea, this, this sea of, co of European cooperation. So the security is attained only via cooperation and joint stance. And the Georgian's membership to NATO will further strengthen the global security alliance, obtain the experience of overcoming confrontation paradigm and the waves of enlargement. And NATO's further enlargement yielded only positive experience to the members of the Alliance as well as on the background of global security. The integration to NATO, this is the track for Georgian statehood, peace, and stability of our region, trans-regional and transcontinental cooperation projects in the and deepening of relationship in this regard. Dear Secretary General, thank you very much for a visit to Georgia and for your unwavering support to our country. Thank you. President um, Mark Balashvili, thank you so much for uh, your uh, kind words and for your warm uh, welcome. And I really appreciate the hospitality we have seen in Georgia during our visit here uh, yesterday and today. And it has been a great experience for the whole North Atlantic Council to be back uh, in uh, Georgia, to have uh, meetings with uh, different government officials, ministers, but also in the parliament, and then to meet with uh, you today. And uh, as you just uh, stated, this is the fourth time the North Atlantic Council visits uh, Georgia. And I think this is a very strong expression of uh, the importance we are attaching to the partnership between uh, uh, Georgia and, uh, and uh, NATO. And uh, the visit of the North Atlantic Council, representing all the 28 uh, allied members and, uh, and uh, uh, Montenegro in the process of becoming the 29th member of, uh, of our alliance, sends a very clear message that the bonds between uh, uh, NATO and Georgia are stronger than ever. Let me thank you uh, for the important contributions uh, Georgia are making 
to NATO's operations and to NATO's uh, activities. We have seen that in Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, and Georgia have uh, stood side by side uh, with NATO for many years. And I am deeply grateful uh, for these contributions. And we recognize the sacrifices of Georgia's soldiers and their families. We also recognize the contribution you are making to international security, to our shared security. Georgia continues uh, to implement uh, fundamental reforms, and we are impressed by uh, the magnitude and the speed and the determination you have shown in implementing important rep reforms for Georgia and for uh, your efforts to become a member of the uh, alliance. These uh, reforms are most important for Georgia itself but they also help to prepare Georgia for NATO membership. This will take time and it will require patience, but we are committed to keep helping you on that path, including through the NATO Georgia Commission and the substantial NATO Georgia package. NATO experts are here in Georgia now uh, to help strengthen your defense capabilities, providing advice uh, on planning, education, and cybersecurity. And we have increased uh, joint training and exercises from troops from NATO, Georgia, and other partner countries. And last year, you and I together inaugurated the new training and uh, evaluation center. Uh, yet another example of that uh, we are now delivering uh, on our practical support and we are expanding our uh, practical cooperation, NATO and uh, uh, Georgia. So put simply, as I have stated again and again during my visit, today there is more NATO in Georgia and more Georgia in NATO. And that is to the great benefit of Georgia and of NATO. So this is something which is mutual benefit for both uh, 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 Georgia and for the alliance. As an aspirant uh, country, Georgia has also been working hard to meet NATO's democratic standards. And here, um, uh, and there, and here too, uh, there has been steady progress over uh, the years. We look forward to the upcoming elections meeting the highest uh, democratic uh, standards. Because as a community of values, NATO puts a premium, a premium on uh, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Finally, we will continue to follow closely the security situation in your country. The situation in Abkhazia and South Ossetia is not getting better. At the Warsaw summit, we have restated our full commitment to Georgia's territorial integrity and sovereignty within its international recognized border. Mr. President, thank you once again for your hospitality. Thank you for your friendship. And it's always great to meet with you. We last met uh, at uh, the Warsaw Summit, uh, the NATO Warsaw Summit uh, in July. And now we meet again, and it's great every time to meet with you and to discuss with you. Thank, Thank you. Bogus Albabit. Greetings. Georgian Public Broadcast, First Channel, journalist Guram Rogava. We last met in Warsaw, where we had the practical support to Georgia. We are awaiting Brussels summit. And we are aware that this summit will not be the summit dedicated to enlargement. What might be the maximum result Georgia can anticipate from Brussels summit? Maximum outcome. And a question to the president. What are our practical steps that in Brussels, during the Brussels summit, to obtain more support? Thank you. We have just started the preparations for the next summit in Brussels, and the dates are not fixed, and we have just finished uh, the summit in Warsaw. To be honest, uh, I'm not able to tell you the exact outcome of the summit before we have held the summit and before we have uh, come a bit further in the preparations. preparations. But what I can tell you 
is that the more reforms Georgia uh, is implementing, the more progress we will also see on that summit uh, related to uh, uh, Georgia and to your efforts to become a member of the alliance. And uh, as I have restated several times uh, today and yesterday, uh, the thing is that strong democratic institutions, the rule of law, um, independent judiciary, um, predictable and the good uh, relations uh, for uh, uh, foreign companies and for business environment. These are reforms which are important for Georgia regardless of NATO. Uh, but in addition, uh, the more successful you are in modernizing your country, uh, the more successful you also be in moving towards uh, uh, NATO membership. So uh, my, my strong message to you is to continue uh, on what you are already doing, implementing reforms that will benefit Georgia, but it will also benefit uh, your efforts to join NATO and it would also make uh, the summit in Brussels uh, even more relevant for your efforts. As I have already singled out, Warsaw's summit provided us with a real instrument to deepen our defense capabilities as well as attain rapprochement with NATO standards and come closer to the alliance. The, before the current visit, one more time, made clear how the, that these opportunities are real. Well, the, many countries take commitments in terms of providing assistance to Georgia. Actually, this is the whole composition of NATO that are conversing at the concrete support of our defense reforms and our defense capabilities, and I would like to use this opportunity to render my thanks one more time to these countries and their representatives, which infers that in advance of the Brussels summit, we have the opportunity to put, to make the best use of the opportunities we procured at Warsaw summit. And we have the concrete partners who are supporting for us, providing support for us. And for the Brussels summit, we should table such work, such, such achievements, which will be positively evaluated by our partners. Also, the Warsaw Summit outcome is extremely important. And this is related to the quiet, in-depth discussion on the security of the Black Sea base. The eastern part of the Black Sea, Georgia, is a corridor connecting Asia with Europe and on the country, which are the ports which enables the Caspian Sea resources to be shipped to the European markets in terms of cargo and energy carriers, and vice versa. They open the conduit for European markets towards Asia, and the discussion on the security of the eastern part of the Black Sea. This is the work we are going to get engaged very actively. Arising from Warsaw summit decisions and the responses given in this regard will provide more security, opportunity for uh, cooperation and peace in the region. And namely, a re proceeding from Warsaw summit decision, Georgia possesses quite large-scale resources, and we have, however, very serious homework. And we will be successful at the Brussels summit as back in Warsaw with the good homework prepared and the projects fulfilled. Hello. David Kachkachishvili, Turkish Information Agency, Anadolu Press. My question goes to Secretary General. And my question goes to the Black Sea region and its security. In Turkey, we have the discussion, we hear the discussion that NATO is not providing sufficient support to Turkey. Do you think so or not? And what are your concrete steps in the Black Sea region to strengthen the security? Because my question also refers to Georgia, which is an aspiring country and for and the security is vitally important for this country. Thank you. 
after this press conference, I will uh, go directly to Turkey, to Ankara, and uh, that will be my fifth uh, visit to Turkey as a Secretary General. And uh, I have visited uh, Turkey so many times because Turkey is a highly valued uh, ally and it's a key ally. Uh, close to the Black Sea region and also close to the turmoil and uh, violence uh, in the south, uh, bordering uh, uh, Iraq and uh, Syria. And uh, I will, during my visit to Turkey, once again express NATO's firm and strong uh, support to Turkey, to the Turkish people and to the democratic institutions of uh, Turkey. And I will also, once again, express uh, that uh, Turkey is uh, a valued ally where we see uh, important uh, benefits both for Turkey and for the whole alliance that we are uh, further uh, developing uh, the way we are working together in addressing the challenges both in the Black Sea region and fighting terrorism uh, uh, in uh, Iraq and uh, Syria. And uh, NATO provides uh, support to Turkey as a, a member of the alliance. Uh, we have increased our military presence in Turkey. Uh, we, have, uh, we have increased naval presence and we have also increased our presence in the airspace over Turkey with the surveillance planes, airwax planes, uh, uh, providing surveillance over Turkey. In addition, uh, we have also deployed uh, defensive uh, uh, missile defense systems uh, to augment the air defenses of uh, Turkey against the potential missile uh, threats. Uh, I will, when I visit to Turkey, of course, discuss what more NATO can do. And I will also discuss uh, the challenges we see in the Black Sea uh, region. And again, we have increased our presence in the Black Sea region. Uh, we uh, have increased naval presence, uh, presence in the air. Uh, but we also made decisions at the Warsaw Summit to develop what we call tailored uh, uh, forward presence uh, in the southeast of the alliance. So all of these issues uh, will be on my agenda when, when I meet with President Erdogan later on today and with uh, ministers and uh, representatives of different political parties in, uh, in Turkey tomorrow. We will continue to support Turkey. We will continue to uh, support the democratic institutions of Turkey. And uh, uh, my visit uh, uh, to Turkey later on today will once again uh, confirm uh, that uh, Turkey is a highly valued ally uh, of the uh, NATO alliance. Okay. Thank you.